You might be 50. <laughs> you might be out here struggling to shoot, and I understand. Y'all might get me done figure out the shooting mechanics of this game. But what helped me the most is the two releases I'm about to put y'all on today. Hit that like button, subscribe. Send it. The fastest releases. This is going to make your jump shot fast. No matter what base you're using, hopefully you're not using no waste man base, but this is going to speed up your jump shot. Hit that like button. Yo, Wagwan, everybody. Yard man gaming here. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Big up on yourself four times. I'm going to put y'all on today, man. Y'all been trying to figure out some stuff. Y'all might be 50 out there like y'all man gaming was. But worry no more. These two releases on any jump shot base will do you justice. Now, I ended up putting these releases out last year. When I went to come into today, I knew that this was the release I was going to use. And last year, I put y'all guys on it. And you see it on the screen. Me and Chris ZT was the ones using this release since community day and everybody and their mama in at the stage been using it as well and i know a lot of y'all have not played 2k in years so since you're back let me put you on the releases now go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe let's do this now i'm gonna put y'all on the release timing and everything i use if y'all get 500 likes in the first hour on this video i'll drop a shooting improvement video how to improve your shooting abilities on 2k instantly all right trust me it will work once I did these little things, I'm literally out here sparking, I'm fading and all this crap. And I'm about to, I'm about to put y'all on, all right? But first, all I need is 500 likes in the first hour. And I was using this upper release combo with many different bases just to make sure y'all man getting the same waste money. All right, let me go ahead and show you the fastest upper release combo that's actually good to use. Because just because it's fast doesn't mean it's good to you. Because there's a lot of fast jump shot releases. I found all of them. But some of them have terrible release height grades. Terrible immunity grades well with this combo right here you're gonna have a great immunity grade no matter what all right for the most part depending on your base your base is gonna be important don't set it no matter what do not take what yama gaming just said to the heart it's not no matter what because some of these bases out there is not to be used these are the six i'm using if you, you guys already know these six i dropped them already for you guys all right now the gv you see i have stizo's old jump shot and you'll be seeing some gameplay with the base jerry west but with a little bit, uh, I tweaked it a little bit. Steezo's old jump shot. Shout out to the one down Steezo. Now, these two upper releases right here. Oh my gosh. New year, same releases I'm using since last year. And it's the freaking greenest thing in the world. You don't believe me? Go ahead and chuck this jump shot on on your build right now. Check me out. If you have the problem of not being able to get Steph Curry's base, Go ahead and put on Markel Fultz. It's a C minus time and stability, and it's still good. It's, it's still the exact almost form of Steph Curry, but they just didn't pro play it like they did Steph Curry's. You can tell Steph Curry's is a bit different this year. It's it's It looks like it's a little bit, it looks different, man. I'm not gonna sit here and compare the bases, but it gets a B plus time and stability. That's the only real difference. Now, in the gameplay you're gonna be seeing, I will be using this base right here which is Jerry West. And I get an A minus stability, A minus defense immunity, and release height C minus, so it's not too flat. I can expect not to get contested too much. And I'm gonna show you some toxic gameplay right now. I'm talking about versus a toxic post score I pulled up on with this jump shot right here. I switched this to Steph Curry just for the video purposes, because I know a lot of y'all use Steph Curry and it's green bean with Steph Curry. And if you don't believe me, it's green bean with Steph Curry. Check me out. Watch this. Let me go put it on Steph Curry real quick for honor. Hit that like button if you're new or if you're OG. Subscribe. A lot of y'all that are watching the videos have not subscribed. All right. So with the Steph Curry, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Want me to drop a, a, a how to get better shooting method. Let me get 500 likes on this video in the first hour. And I'll drop a tutorial on how I learned how to shoot better on this game and my shot timing and all that stuff. I can fade now. You see what I'm saying? I can shoot easily. All about, I'll get, I'll get to that when you guys hit that like button, all right? Because I know y'all don't want to be out here struggling. See, I can shoot from deep. <laughs> hold on, there, hold on. There. My stamina was low. My stamina was low, bro. Give me a break, dog. All right? Give me a break. Man, I'm not trying to see... I'm not trying to see all that freaking sun sunlight. 2K, put some window blockers on the Gatorade facility, please. The shading, the, the sunlight is, is, is shaking up Yardman Gaming when he's in here trying to lab up because there's no micro. You see, I can shoot good. That's that curry base. Easy. All right. 
Now the base you'll be seeing in this video is not curry. It's actually faders. Can I fit? I'm telling you. The Stizo Yard combination. Stizo's using Jerry West base this year. So yeah, my game and gonna try it out again. I already seen that fastest jump shot video I dropped. Jerry West is the second fastest in this game behind John Stockton. And you see, it's green bean. First shot with it, too easy. And we're gonna try it from deep. Too freaking. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Huh? Well on there, well on there, well on there, well on there. Faders, green. Hoo-wee. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be over with for these cats, man. Whoop. Green. Easy freaking jump shot. Use these two upper release combos on any of your favorite bases. I'm telling you, it's going to work out for you. And if you're 50, even after using these two releases, you might need to go ahead and, and go sit on the bench for a little bit, just for a little bit. Now, now I'm not calling you a bench armor, but you know what? Let somebody else run the show while you learn how to shoot. All right, so you've made it this far in the video. Let me show you guys some full gameplay versus, actually, I'm not gonna lie, this was a decent team just because they had Thanos on the team. That dude over there in the colored pants is pretty much Thanos, bro. He has, he's the post scorer. I was trying to get a Drexler dunk off this man, swiped it out there pretty much, 100 smothered. This man was post hooking from literally Uganda. Like, it's, it's no way. When you, play, when, you, when you play against somebody like this, the way to beat them is you need three pointers. So what Yaman Gamer was doing was trying to three hunt. And this was the Jerry Send West it. version of the dunk that I just showed you, the Steezo slash Yardman custom of hell, right? But you know, when I go on hell, but you know, so the custom will give somebody hell. But the jump shot feels fast. Usually Jerry West jump shot doesn't feel smooth. I tried using it, Jerry West with the exact custom Steezo drop last year, which was Bruce Brown, because just because a lot of my releases, they're really good, but they're so flat in the release height and release height matters because it's like some, I've noticed that when my release height is too flat, like a D, I'll end up getting contested more than if it's like a C or even a B. Maybe it's just a Yardman game and superstition, but you know what? Just to be safe, I can't use a lot of my old releases right now. I have found the fastest releases. I know all of the fastest releases in this, in this game. And Darius Garland is still one of the fastest. And it's one of the best to give you an A or an A minus, I should say, immunity. Because immunity is very important this year. You can have a fast release, but if that immunity is a C or a B, you best believe it's going to make a difference in your shot getting affected by contest. You want at least an A minus. The least I would settle for is a B plus. Now look at this post court. This is why I can't touch no two's court, bro. Look at this. Boy, ain't no way, boy. That was open and we were both there. <laughs> that stuff crazy, bro. But hey, we still have a chance to take the lead. I'm going for the three. Because if you keep taking twos against this guy, he's going to get a two back or he's going to kick it up to the three and we get the three. Jump shot looks so smooth. Jump shot looks so fast. Now, if you don't like Jerry West base, if you don't like Curry base, and if you can't get Curry base and you can't find Markel Fultz base, guess what? Whatever base you want to use with this jump shot release combo, it's going to speed it up and still keep a good immunity grade and a decent release height, unless you're blending it way more towards Garland. You want to keep it blended where I had it, all right? If you want to mess around with it, mess around with it. If you go more Garland, it's going to make it faster. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes speed is not always good. You know, especially in this game. Speed is good, but you need the grace to even out. Now, I can't wait to bring out this build again, but I still don't have because I don't like to use screens. This was just something I had to do because Mayo doesn't have an outside big yet. And Caillou was on um, Eldir's account for, to run lock. So I was kind of forced to run screens and I hadn't run screens in since 2K21 when I was doing it for videos in the comp stage, the real comp stage. So, I mean, I, I'm not no bum or nothing, but you get the point. Um, my main line is ISO and I still haven't even got the taste to do that yet. So I can't wait to test that out with this new build. And I got a new build on the way as well for those that if you've seen any builds I've dropped and you don't like it, guess what? Look at how smooth Send this it. jump shot looks, bro. Pack them up right there almost. And we're going to end them with a three point. I mean, I'll tell you this right now. The, the, the three points, I got shake some boy up. Any boy will come out and try post corp on the trees court. Y'all got done for dog. You better hope say yard man gaming. I miss him in freaking shot them. Cause a post score at the end of the day is only two points. When you get that, look on this. Bomba dog. <laughs> Yo, I'm staying off the ones. I'm mean, not touch the twos court. You see from, you see this on the trees court? Imagine upon the ones and imagine upon the twos. Send it. But you know, yard man is Big send it. And we get them out there with a good, good shooting experience. Now, one thing I will say is this. 
I will give all the tips and tricks to how you want to shoot in this game because there's some things that you need to know about shooting in this game. There's some game I had to learn the hard way using screens. That's not my element. That's not where I, I, I thrive off. Screens is not where I thrive. I can learn it, but it's not where I thrive. So you got to only imagine the stress. Yeah, my game was under coming on. You're doing something that he doesn't do and everybody trying to come for his neck. But we were still out here winning games and going through it and, and going through the suffocation so I can teach you guys what you need to know how to shoot better. All right. I'll drop my release time and everything like that. If you want it, just make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Combo tutorial on the way, but 500 likes in the first hour. And I get y'all that how to shoot better on AV 2K24 tips and tricks method. Big up myself and big up the mighty. What up to Canada? Do you want to donate thing already? Yeah, man, give me